ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव दैट डी बाय डी ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी क्रॉस सी विल बी इक्वल टू डी बाय डी ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी क्रॉस सी प्लस ए क्रॉस डी बाय डी ऑफ बी वेक्टर क्रॉस सी प्लस ए वेक्टर क्रॉस बी क्रॉस डी बाय डी ऑफ सी वेक्टर ओके so here proof starts from lhs we are going to start the lhs is given that d by dt of a vector cross b vector cross c vector a cross b cross c okay now we know that if we have to we are going to differentiate a function suppose f x d by dx of fx it will be written as limit del x tends to zero if x plus delta x minus fx by delta x similarly suppose we have a function f of t then differentiation with respect to t will be limit delta t tends to zero f of t plus delta t minus f of t by delta t that we know okay similarly if we are going to consider this entire is a function a cross b cross c will be a function then differentiation with respect to t will be written as here you can see a plus delta a c here a is one a uh, part of this function b also and c also so how we are going to write a plus delta a cross b plus delta b cross c plus delta c minus the entire function entire function that is your a cross b cross c divided by delta t as we discussed over here okay that means here we consider this entire is our function of t that means here a cross b cross c is considered as ft but here a is the part of the ft b also c also that means at a time a b c Uh, varies with respect to t so hence we are going to write a plus delta a b plus delta b c plus delta c minus a cross b cross c by delta t now we are going to go for simple multiplication between these two terms here you can see b cross is here here cross uh, symbol is there so b cross c b cross delta c delta b cross c This term delta b cross delta c minus a cross b cross c. Okay, okay. By delta t is there. Now again, I am going to uh, multiply this term with this term. Okay, carefully you have to multiply. Here you can see first a vector multiply with these uh, one, two, three, four terms. See a here cross is there. So a cross b cross c, a cross b cross c. Then a cross b cross delta c a cross b cross delta c then a cross delta b cross c a cross delta b cross c plus a cross delta b cross delta c a cross delta b cross delta c then again delta a will be multiplied the so called vector multiplication because it is cross is there delta a will be a uh, vector multiplied with these four terms delta a cross b cross c delta a cross b cross c again delta a cross b cross delta c this term delta a cross delta b cross uh, c this one then delta a cross delta b cross delta c this term okay and last term is your this one a cross b cross c okay okay here you can see that delta a delta a delta b and delta c are small quantity if i am going to multiply any two of them again the value will be reduced therefore here you can see in this term delta b multiplied with delta c that means if i am going to consider its magnitudes delta b multiplied with delta c then its this value is going to be negligible consider this term here delta a delta c is there if i will multiply their magnitudes then again it will be neglected delta a here delta b multiplied with each other again its magnitude uh, can be neglected delta a delta b multiply 
uh, with each other means the uh, quantity can be neglected that means you just think that delta b cross delta c let delta delta b uh, cross delta uh, uh, delta c suppose approximately zero <coughs> then this term will be cancelled out if delta a uh, cross delta c will be approximately zero then this term will be cancelled out this term similarly and this term similarly will be cancelled out so these four uh, underlying terms will be cancelled out here i written here we neglected the underlying terms because delta a delta b and delta c are very small very small so delta uh, a or multiplied with b or b multiplied with c will be very very small approximately zero so these four underlying terms will be cancelled out so here you can see one term a cross b cross c here minus a cross b cross c also cancelled out so only uh, uh, here you can see only three terms one two and three terms left out that we are going to write limit delta t tends to zero this term a cross b cross delta c plus a cross delta b cross c uh, plus uh, here this term this term delta a cross b cross c okay okay then delta a cross b cross c and divided by delta t now i am going to separate these three terms okay by writing in this format limit delta t tends to zero a cross b cross delta c by delta t this delta t i uh, divided uh, with delta c vector in this term we can write limit delta t tends to zero a cross delta b by delta t cross c plus limit delta t tends to zero delta a by delta t cross b cross c so therefore what we found a cross b a cross uh, b cross this is nothing but your here you can see limit delta t tends to zero delta c by delta t is nothing but d by dt of c similarly this term will be a cross this one will be written as d by dt of b cross c this term will be written as d by dt of a cross b cross c so if i am going to match this one with our rhs of our question then both are matched here you can see that d a by d t cross b cross c here d a by d t cross b cross c is that uh, a cross d d by d t of b cross c a cross d, b, uh, d by d t of b cross c then a cross b cross d by d t of c here a cross b cross d by d t of c so hence this one is your rhs and we proved. okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you